90.5 KGSP Pirate Radio. This is Brian Longbows here, and we oh, got a caller on the line. I here? think, I think Brian, yeah, man, line two, line two, you got a caller. Line two. Well, who do we have here? We have a uh, Julius. Julius, how's it going, Julius? Jules. Well, it's all right. I, I, I just wanted to call in to tell you that I have some evidence that disputes. The scientists that you're citing, their claims. What? No. No, 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 no. That yeah, cannot the, be possible. The scientific claims regarding uh, long balls being yeah, directly yes, related yes. to life longevity? Yes, exactly. My grandfather, he had the smallest ball, and he lived to be 170 years old. Wow. 170? 170, wow. Yeah, yes, and his balls are now on display at the Miniatures Museum. <laughs> so <laughs> when, when can I go see him? Well, you can go anytime you want. We, there's a, there it closes around nine because they don't want too many people touching the balls and getting it all dirty. They need to clean them. It takes hours to clean. So you can actually touch the balls. Yes, yes. They're a piece of history. They want you to be able to feel history. Long balls don't make you live longer. No, they still do. But how do you explain my grandfather, huh? <laughs> Your grandfather was a freak. Yeah, man. Calm my down. Calm down. My grandfather was a saint. Is this saint? Um, is he saint? What? What saint? What? Saint Shortballs. Exactly. That's his name. That was his name. <laughs> saint Shortballs. Short well, Man, then I'm work. Saint Longballs. Well, Brian, I'm gonna have to disagree with you there. Science has been proven wrong today yet again. <laughs> well, you have one piece of evidence. I mean, there's always inconsistencies to every to every fact. And let's be honest here, Julius. What was the last time you touched these balls? I touch them every single day of my life. <laughs> He's devoted. Oh my god. Well, They're Julia, an heirloom. Do they? How do they smell? I gotta know. Smell kind of rank, to be honest. They're, <laughs> they're over two hundred years old. They're one hundred and six. 170 now, years? now, when you say heirloom, is this uh, is this something that has been passed down through your family uh, over generations before they were well, finally he, donated to the museum? He only died three years ago, so it hasn't really been passed down too much. I'm the first person in our family to get them. Wait, wait, wait! This guy and died I'm three years. Passing them years? down to my children and their children and the children's after theirs. So, Just keep passing down these balls, but you donated it to the museum. So, I mean, how are you going to get them back? We run the museum. <laughs> <laughs> Julius, would you say that you do. would you say that your grandfather's short balls were the inspiration for starting the miniature museum? That's a fair, fair assumption there, pal. <laughs> so is it true? Yes, it's true. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yes, it's true. That's a fair assumption. Well, yes, it's true. And Julius, I'll tell you what is not an assumption: the fact that long balls do actually prolong your life. That's a fact. I'm sorry, Julius. Uh, it's, it's okay, Brian. I tried my best. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm glad that you tried your best, bud. Hey, uh, can I get you a song since you tried so hard? Uh, Brian, since you won this debate, you can choose the song. Alrighty. Very sportsmanlike. Very nice, very nice. Everybody, let's keep in mind, long balls always... Lengthen your life. Despite what Julesy says. Oh, Jules. Oh, Jules Ian. Oh, Jules Ian. Oh, Jules. <laughs> let's get back to the music let's on 90.5. Do it. Let's do it. Oh, well, let's do oh, it. Oh, yeah. Oh, let's get back to the music. Oh, my God. Wow. Oh, my God. 90.5. Oh, oh, Pirate oh, Radio. Oh, Brian Longbottom. Oh, <laughs>